This is a Halo Wars strategy video by Baker. Today we're going to talk about how to stop a Warthog rush using the Brute Chieftain. Okay, when you start up the match as the Brute Chieftain, as your leader, you want to go ahead and build a temple first thing off right away and start a warehouse. Get your Brute Chopper out there collecting supplies. This is just the normal way you'd start any Covenant match. You always want to start with your temple and get your leader out there. He can pretty effectively stop almost any rush. I was originally making this video as a Brute slash Brute Chieftain Rush video, but my opponent I was playing on Xbox Live tried a Warthog Rush, and so I converted this video into a tutorial about how to stop that. As you can see, he's already got a Warthog over exploring my base. Just build up your warehouses as soon as you can. Once your Chieftain gets out there, have him also start collecting supplies. He gathers them extremely fast. And I was just chasing off that warthog. Don't really like having him in my base. Then I upgrade my warehouse as soon as possible. Because when you lay out warehouses across all your building spots, it only builds one at a time, but it takes your money away right away. So save your money and upgrade the first warehouse as soon as it's finished and then start building the other warehouses now all my warehouses are built and upgraded well there I am upgrading the last one right there I'm exploring out towards his base and I come across a group of four warthogs I use my chieftain's special power to destroy them and I'm pretty suspicious that he's trying a warthog rush at this point now all the units I have are my chieftain and my brute chopper. So I go ahead and start training some brutes and they can warp straight to my chieftain so I just have my chieftain out there and backup can be there in a second if I need it. Now I'm walking up to find out what he's got going on. Now I'm just walking right up to my enemy's base with only my chieftain and my brute chopper. Basically if he hasn't got much units out yet I'm just gonna destroy his base call my brutes over through the teleporter and completely annihilate him right away but if he has which he has in this case he'll already have some warthogs out ready to go then I want to confront him before his force gets too big because right now I only have one real um, attacker and that's my brute chieftain so you can see I start attacking his supply depots and then he brings over a slew of warthogs so I quickly try to kill those with my leader special power. As you can see he's running around with his warthogs. Um, I go ahead and start training more brutes and start calling them over to my chieftain so they can back him up. My chieftain's over here attacking the supply depot right now. Here come more brutes. He's got a turret back there and he's hiding his warthogs back there because he knows that my chieftain can completely annihilate them all. But I walk back there and draw him out and he's got five warthogs or six. I just go ahead and do my vortex and completely destroy all of them. Now remember it does take supplies to use this vortex so make sure you don't run out of supplies. You gotta have some saved when you're playing covenant leader like this. Now he has greatly damaged my leader so rather than bringing my leader back and rather than continuing with my rush I decide to just keep my leader there and try to destroy that one supply depot just to give him a little bit of hurt and go back and continue training brutes but instead of calling them over I'm going to save them up for a second attack so that's basically the end of my rush on him and it failed but that's not really a problem because right now he has nothing. Okay, I know I'm just going to speed through this next part of the game really fast. What happened, I go back, I start retraining my brute chieftain right away, train up more brutes, make sure I got a force available to stop any warthogs he might send my way. But I know at the same time that I just destroyed all his warthogs, so it's going to be a little while before he'll build up a force to send over here. And I've already got enough to stop a decent amount of warthogs. So I go over here and take a second base. It's really easy with the chieftain and with the brutes. Then I start building turrets. 
Now I'm obviously going to focus on anti-vehicle turrets. I also am going to upgrade my turrets to medium turrets, right there, and build a second base, build more supply depots. Now I'm sort of keeping my units out here in the middle of the field because this second base is completely unprotected with no turrets in front of it yet until it gets upgraded. So I'm trying to be where I can easily stop forces from trying to attack that base and also far enough across the field that, um, that I won't miss them going down to my main base. Right now I'm just continuing setting up this second base, building all my warehouses, getting them all upgraded, getting my turrets up there, making them anti-vehicle. And it should be pretty obvious to you right now that he is going to do attack. Now it puts him at the disadvantage if he's coming onto my base because as you can see turrets and the ability to produce more units right where the battle is is obviously an advantage. So I'm just going to hang back here at my base, upgrade all my turrets like I said to medium turrets and also make them anti-vehicle. I put a shield around my base to protect it while the attack comes here which is what I'm planning on happening. I put a shield generator around my base. I did this forward base first because I'm trying to make the fight happen here but I also um, do my original base once I have the money to do that. And I build a hall, right? Why? Because I want hunters. Hunters are the Covenant's anti-vehicle unit and this guy is using vehicles. So I build hunters and upgrade them. Okay, and the second upgrade for the hunters says it gives them a big damage bonus when they are both still alive. So I'm going to save my supplies till I have enough to upgrade my temple to get a second tech level and then go ahead and upgrade hunters to level 2. Now with my brute chieftain special ability plus level 2 hunters running around, these warhogs are going to be no problem. Alright, I'm almost done building my forces up. I've got plenty of brutes, quite a few hunters, and I'm still training more. Currently getting the second upgrade on the hunter. My brute chieftain is ready for battle and he attacks and as you can see he has a good sized force of warthogs but I just take my brute chieftain and start sending my vortex flying around through all his warthogs and it's just burning them all up right now you can see tires flying all over the place car parts are being scattered now he sent in a mag blast but I had plenty of units it's the vortex can take out a lot more units than a mag blast now he starts retreating and there's my chieftain my chieftain goes down so I pull back and I start training more hunters first thing I want to do is go back and start retraining my chieftain but look how many units I still have now he the way he was retreating I'm assuming he doesn't have much left so I go ahead and start chasing after him now he hadn't pulled back very far and there he is now he's still only got vehicles and so my hunters are just tearing him apart. He put down um, that special ability stopper but I don't even have a leader right now so it did not affect me. He retreated again. I go ahead and chase him down to his base. At this point I'm pretty sure I'm going to go destroy his base. It looks like the game is over but I'm still training hunters just to make sure and then I run into his five warthogs kill them all with my units again I don't have the brute chieftain here his warthogs are still going down fast due to those hunters and he resigned because I destroyed him and then that's game that's how you effectively stop and counter a warthog rush the keys to remember you get your chieftain over there early to figure out what he's doing and destroy his initial warthog force before it gets too large then go back and focus on anti-vehicle units and defenses. And that's it for today's lesson on how to stop a Warhog Rush. I'll see you next time with more Halo Wars strategies from yours truly, Baker!